Ooh, episode two. Okay, uh, episode two of the extras episodes. I still gotta figure out a name for this. I do not have a name at all for this. I have a few ideas, but the thing is, is there are a few ideas, but they would be separate shows. But whatever. Yeah. So while I figure out the name for this thing, for this, and figure out if this is, should be its separate own its own separate show. We have another episode out, and this is amazing. Oh my god, a Friday show. More of me. Oh my god, you must feel so happy to see me. Excuse me. I had Indian food before, and it was before I worked out, which I feel like I'm dumb for that, but fuck, it was good. And now I'm having a protein shake, so yeah, that the toilet might be fucked up soon. Anyways, um, yeah, so... Remember how with this it's I hey hey I got my own show I could talk about whatever I want now hey yo way hey, where's the gabagoo um yeah this is the thing we're gonna be talking about whatever I want this week this week there was a new, a new movie trailers um uh, whatever we have uh, Shang Chi coming out today but or today as as in uh, the day that this episode is coming out um yeah. So, I basically want to talk about dumb people, and why I want to be talking about them is because I was working retail, um, as of right now, I'm still technically working retail, but we are following suit with a career choice, which is going to affect this show, I don't really know, because I'm starting next week, I actually have my first shift on Wednesday, and I don't really want to say what it is until I tell the people closest to me. I would just rather say this, like, right now. I'll probably talk about it on Tuesday because I'll have to figure things out with what's going on with this. But, yeah. So, I, you, you know, working retail, you, get, you really see that different kinds of people will say. Some people who are incredibly smart and some people who are just don't know the difference between... A woman's shoe and a men's shoe, or a woman's shoe and a toddler shoe. The amount of people that would be working re- that would that you meet when working retail is incredible. It's incredible the types of people that you meet. You have some incredibly amazing people. Like I love talking to people and getting to know a person in a way where, hey, or not getting to know a person like actually like getting personal whatever but i would like I, I don't mind having conversations with people when you let, get to learn a person it's actually enjoyable when you get to learn a person you get to learn about a culture but then you get the people that come to work that come to your store and you question if they skip the line for brains oh my god and do i ever see those people more than the enjoyable people you have people who are who will come up to you with 15 different shoes when you're already helping multiple customers and they just for some reason i feel like they just try on the shoes because i don't got anything to do i don't got a life i don't got a wife or kids i just want to try on shoes and they try on their shoes and don't buy it like the amount of times people come to the store come to would come to my store and try on different pairs of shoes and different sizes and think I don't want any of these and just dip it's like thanks for coming to the store I hope you have a great day please don't ever come again like you got the people and then you have my favorite people are for some reason they're always foreigners and I don't mind the foreigners but for some reason they are like it doesn't matter where they are they're not from they weren't born here but for some reason every single time without fail i get somebody coming into the store asking if we have yeezys sir we do not this this is a sports store why would we have yeezys and their answer is to me is you well you're wearing them like yeah i i sell shoes i should get to wear whatever shoes i want thank you i appreciate your uh, your observation that i am wearing yeezys I appreciate it. I kind of forgot that I wore them. I'm thank you. I'm thankful that you reminded me that yes, I am wearing Yeezys. Or you get the ones I what I got asked once if we sell Balenciaga. Balenciaga. I would hope we don't sell those. I would. I literally told the guy, yeah, we sell Balenciagas. Buy a pair of socks and get some 
fucking silly putty and put it at the bottom. That's basically it. Then you have the you have people coming in with random questions. I so I was working footwear. Okay, so I have to sell shoes. And that means I stand in the footwear department. Sometimes I'll go to the cash just to get the returns. Okay. But other than that, I'm basically standing in footwear. Okay. Standing in front of footwear, people ask me, where is footwear? Oh, I don't know. I'm looking for it too, I guess. Like, do, 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 you, do, do your eyes work enough for you to notice I am standing in footwear holding a shoe? It's crazy to me, the things that were asked. I have once been asked. I was helping somebody. I was, like, somebody was talking to me, asking me about a pair of shoes that they were looking for. I'm explaining the shoes. Somebody interrupted me speaking, which don't ever do that to me. I hate being interrupted when I speak. Don't care. If I don't care how urgent it is that something, whatever it is you have to say, don't interrupt me. I don't care if your toe fell off. Wait for me to finish. I don't care if I'm talking about a light, like... Uh, I could be talking about a show. If your toe fell off, don't interrupt me. I'm talking to this guy, letting him know the difference between a running shoe and a training shoe, which a lot of people don't know. So if you don't know, a running shoe, I'd get my shoes, but I don't have any over here. A running shoe is soft at the bottom with, with more arch support. A training shoe is going to be... Firm and flat in the sole. There you go. Just a fun little uh, activity that we can do. This guy comes up to me as I'm explaining to this guy the difference between a running shoe and a training shoe, which I have to do at least once a day as well. This guy comes up to me, literally says to me, do you guys have nice shoes? I'm like, don't know what you mean. We have the lifestyle section just over there. If you're looking for like nice shoes for casual, no, 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 no. Something you would wear with a suit. This is a sports store. Why would we sell stuff that you can wear with suits? But if that's what you're looking for, you can go out. Of, shut up. You can walk out of the store, go down the hall to Brown's and look for something there. I don't know why you're asking me if we have anything nice in a store that sells hockey sticks. But I'm glad you did so that I know never to ask you for anything ever because you don't have brain cells uh when you work retail the things that have that are said to you it's just incredible the things that are said ah uh, i'm not gonna miss working retail i still like can that job i'm not done with them i'm not done with that store but I'm moving on to something else. I don't want to work retail anymore. I'd rather do something that 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 that's that's something I can follow career wise, and that's something that has happened, and I'm very happy for it, and I'm very excited to start it. Again, I would like to talk about this in full detail next week because next week I will have my last training session on Friday. So yeah. Or I'm not going to go into detail with it. I'm just going to say what it is. I don't want to go into full detail about my life. That's just not... People don't need to know full detail, but whatever. I, the thing is, I'm not too sure what's going to be happening with this whole thing. Uh, I will say that it's not the same thing that I re that I started this podcast for. I started this podcast because I wanted to go into sports media. Realize, and realizing now, I'm like, mm, do I really want to do that? Because the one thing I don't really like about sports media is how one-sided politically it is. The fact that it's even political is what is something I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's also very one-sided. And I don't want to get into that, but a lot of people seem to get chastised for having a certain view. I'm not saying I have those views. It's just that, like, I can't do that. I want to be talking about sports. I want to be talking about Austin Matthews, that beautiful soul of a man, just scoring goals. I want to be talking about Aaron Rodgers throwing touchdowns and fucking Kyle Lowry's dump truck just hitting threes, even though he's on Miami now. Just work for the joke. 
but it's okay because we still got Vladdy who's got a dumper of his own and talking about him hitting homers. It's just that that's the kind of stuff that I thought I wanted. Now I think it's on to something else. Thing is, I would like to continue doing this as something that's on my own, something that I could be doing for fun, that I don't have to worry about, you know, turning this into a job. It could just be fun. I don't have to worry about, you know, keeping myself like watching what I say. Just because if I were to continue with this, if I said the wrong thing on here, then oops, sorry, we're not hiring you. But this is something I would like to continue. This is. I would like to probably transition into something that is like this, where I can talk about whatever I want. I would like to talk about sports, but that sports isn't the only thing I want to be talking about. I'm going to be figuring this out. I'm going to continue. Be I'm going to try to continue pumping out episodes. Thing is, there's might be weeks where I might have harder. I might have you know a hard time recording. So there will be episodes that are recorded ahead of time. I don't want to be releasing like episodes that were two mu- recorded two months ago. But I would like to do something like a week ahead, like especially for the Friday episodes, a week ahead. Thing is, this week was just so packed with stuff. I didn't even. I was so tired. Man, dealing with those customers tired me the F out. It was stupid. The amount of customers that we've had to deal with, especially for back to school. Which, it feels like, I, like, for some reason, it feels like I'm going back to school. I haven't been, I haven't been back to school. This is what, my third year not being in school. Which, I will say, planning to go back, just figuring out what for. But this is... Hold on, 2018 was my last year of going back to school. Yeah, 2018 was my last September in school. This, for some reason, it still feels like it's school time coming around. I think it's because I've been going to school for, what, like 18 years? Now it's like, oh, it's school time. I still have that fucking first day of school anxiety, which, do you remember that first day of school anxiety? What, your first day of elementary school or high school? Like, oh, I wonder who's going to be in my class this year. I wonder what teachers I'm going to have. Uh, I never realized how stupid that was that I was anxious about that. I missed those first days of school. Man, in high school too, it was like a half day for first day. You go get your schedule, see your first your teachers for like 15 minutes. Say, okay, we're going home. Or if it's in my case, okay, let's go to Rustic. Which I went to Rustic every day for high school, for lunch. I went to that bakery every single day. Oh my God, do I love it. I missed high school for the fact that I had a third period spare for fourth uh, for second semester. I had a fourth period spare for, four, for fourth year, which I will say was fantastic because playing football, I would just third period, I would start getting ready. I'd be the first one out, out on the field. Get it, but, but even before then, I take a nap in the basement, which the things that we did in that basement is astonishing to me. We literally set up a card table and chairs to be playing cards down there, like Italian cards. I don't even think I got them down here. I think they're all upstairs, but we had it. We would be playing scope up a lot. We played get at brisk every day for lunch, but that's the first semester. After then, we got kicked out. We would put, we said we brought down a couch. A TV and a Wii. We were down there playing Mario Kart. And let me tell you this right now. Vibes. Like, it was vibes as is going to an all-guy school. No drama. You don't got to worry about anything. No distractions. It's just boy. Literally, the definition of boys being boys. Or guys being dudes. Cards every day. We'd be playing brisk while eating lunch. Then we got kicked out of there, which that was a bummer. But then we brought that coach into the football, into our football coach's cha- um, classroom. He was the religion teacher. Best one. Never actually had him. Phenomenal teacher. God, I, I'm, I love going back to school to be talking to Mr. Dio Daddy. What a guy. We'd be going over there. Just playing cards in his classroom sitting on the couch whatever it was just vibes in that school but fourth period i'd be taking naps in the basement on that couch just before football or i'd be even taking a nap on the bench where we'd be like uh 
getting dressed in the J in the change room. It was phenomenal down there. It stunk, but after like a week, you get used to it. The one I will say one one friend had a dumb idea to have a sleepover in the basement, which was stupid. But I missed it down there. I missed that basement. I don't miss the smell because now every time I go back down there, because I'm not used to it, I'm not in that change room every single day. It stinks. But man, the things that we did. I, oh, and then third period, uh, second semester, I had that third period spare going to lunch at Rustic every day. Oh, I'll tell you my. I'll tell you what I had for lunch and what days it was. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday it was usually the pasta or veal. Or a pasta or even the pizza. It was most likely I would get the veal sandwich. Okay. Yes, I do say sandwich, not sandwich. I don't know why. It's just the way I say it. Veal sandwich. And I always got it with the uh, with rabini. And then the hot peppers and the oil. Now, I don't get the banana peppers. It was always the hot peppers and the oil. They had like the color buzz chilies. Oh, beautiful. Have that with a bottle of water. Then after I do that, finish that for the digestion, I get a nice espresso. We go back to school because I had a third period spare. That was our lunch. I had the first two lunches, which wasn't my lunch. And then the third lunch, which was my grade's lunch. We went down to, I went back to school by then. It was chilling with my friends after having lunch. It's beautiful. That was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It was either going to be a pasta, a veal, or a pizza. Thursday. Thursday was... Oh, I miss Thursdays. Thursdays was, was tripa. And if you don't know what tripa, tripa is, why did I say tripa? If you don't know what tripa is, if you're not Italian and don't know what that is, let me tell you this right now, it's candy. Not actual candy, it's phenomenal. I love it. I'll eat that every fucking day of the week. It's literally just cow stomach or cow intestines. It's, oh, it's cow tripe. Oh, you get it with the potatoes. It's nice and spicy with, I'm pretty sure it was like, use like a beef stock or whatever, like wine. Oh, it was so good. I love tripa so much. Then Fridays, Fridays was the nice fish. I never had the veal on Fridays just because like, I don't know, it was tradition to have fish on Fridays instead of, instead of meat. I, it's a religious thing. I think I don't consider it a religious thing. I just think it's tradition. I love fish, so I have the fish on Friday, especially since I don't want to have too much red meat or just like chicken or beef. I'd like to have some fish too. And then Saturday and Sunday, I wasn't at school, unfortunately, because, or, well, I mean, not unfortunately, but I mean, it would have been nice because I would have had rustic for lunch, and rustic for lunch then too. Oh, I love that bakery. If you don't, I love that bakery, but at the same time, I feel like there's, some really good bakeries in Toronto. Like San Ramo is probably the best one. But I love Rustic. I love it because it's near and dear to my heart just because of high school. And I'm not saying that, oh, because I, you know, I miss those days. That The days are behind me. I'm trying to look ahead. But like, oh, I miss that. I miss going to lunch every day over there. I'd literally be having lunch with a, with a teacher, with my law teacher. I'd leave law class, go to Rustic, and he'd be there. We'd be like having lunch together. Which is, I mean... I feel like that would be weird at every other school. It just seems right at Shamanad. Ah, well, I didn't want to name drop it, but it it feels right at my old high school. Ah, yeah, I miss it over there. I was hoping to be talking about some other things this week, but there's not. I haven't. uh, Shang Chi comes out like I'm recording it on Thursday, uh, the second, but uh, Shang Chi comes out tomorrow, so I didn't get to watch that yet. I'm planning to watch that soon. I would like to go to the movie. I might literally, excuse me, I might literally go to the theaters by myself one day to watch it. We see how I feel. But I would also like to wait for the Sopranos movie. But I do really want to go watch a movie so bad. Like, I don't even think I'm going to ask anybody to go. I might just go by myself. Because apparently watching a movie by yourself is supposed to be one of the greatest experiences ever. And I might just do it. I might just give it a try. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this week. I got, you know, I got to get this episode ready and uh, go ready to go for tomorrow at 7 a.m. But yeah, that's it for this week. You can follow me on Instagram at Bonavoda. You can follow the podcast at Leading the Pack Pod. I don't know why. I'm still learning to do this. This is what 
we're 36 weeks into me doing this and i still don't realize that i don't have to be going up right like right there i can just be talking right here and it'd be fine you can follow me on in twitter at bonavora underscore with the capital b it's gonna be all for this week i will see y'all on tuesday when i will be talking about the nfl season for the nfl 2021 season giving my preview for super bowl winners uh division winners and awards i guess i'm gonna do i'm gonna try and do uh everything that is interesting to me ciao